Here in California, in the primary tomorrow, people have the rare and no doubt pleasing opportunity to vote their taxes down. That was 1978, the year Prop 13 passed. The proposition rolled back property taxes and restricted future increases. Revenue from property taxes plummeted as a result, and schools and cities found themselves unable to pay for basic needs. By 1982, the state legislature found a new way to tax property, a law commonly called Mello Roos, named after the two legislators who wrote the law. It allows landowners, most often developers, to create districts, issue debt through bonds, and collect taxes. Today, one in ten properties pays Melarus to cover the cost of new schools, roads, fire stations, and libraries. Just how much property owners are paying in Melarus can vary from house to house. Let's take a closer look at who's paying and how much. iNews Source collected tax data for more than 100,000 properties in San Diego County paying Melarus. Here's what we found. On average, homeowners who pay Melarus pay an extra $1,826 every year. But the range is huge, anywhere from an extra $35 to $8,700. In total, San Diego County properties paid an extra $200 million in Melarus last year, almost doubling in the past decade. Now let's zoom in even closer to see just how dramatically Melarus payments vary house to house. This is my house. It's a pretty typical tract home built in the late 80s. I pay Melarus $776 a year. But if I walk down to the end of my street to my neighbor's house, it's a very different story. Now, these houses behind me, they were built all at around the same time. But as we keep walking further, you'll see where the houses start to change. They get bigger, nicer, and of course they're newer. And that's also where the Melarus starts to change. Cheryl Olson, my neighbor, pays more than six times what I pay in Melarus. Her bill, $4,823 per year, and that doesn't include her regular property taxes, about another $6,900 a year. Looking down our neighborhood street is to think that you're paying $700 versus my $5,000 to do the very same thing. I mean, I can't imagine anybody would think that was fair. Our kids go to the same schools, we share the same roads, library, and fire station. Just why we pay such different amounts in Melarus is not entirely clear, but square footage and the age of our homes are two influencing factors. The taxpayers have spoken. The Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, named after the man who led the Proposition 13 tax revolt, says Melarus can be a fair method of taxation if the homeowners paying are getting something for their money, like new roads and schools. Just how much more they're willing to pay, well, that may be up to the market and whether developers can keep selling homes that come with an extra tax.